Let's turn the button mode to on for the ball. Ball dot button mode. Pretty easy to remember. It's true. So now whenever we point at the ball, it's gonna have this little finger. Not the finger, just okay, that's not funny. Um yeah. So now it bounces and it points everything. Great. We want to adjust the velocity by uh, hit x divided by, first let's look at this, hit x divided by ball width. Um, that is basically going to give us a ratio. For example, if I hit, uh, just look at the right half of this ball for now. If I hit over here, at the very end, we want the force to be the greatest, the full 100% force. So we want to multiply hit force by 1. Um, our x-coordinate of where we hit relative to the center divided by the width is going to be 1 because they're equal. However, when I hit the exact center, um, we don't want any horizontal force. So the coordinate x hit x is going to be 0. When we divide it by the width, it's still 0. When we hit it halfway, um, it'll be 0.5. So it's applying half the hit force. So that's what, that's what this part does. But um, half the hit force, um, it's, it's really not enough. It, the ball doesn't move very much. So that's why I'm multiplying it by, by 2. And applying it to hit force here. Or um, yeah, multiplying it with hit force and then applying it to Vx. All right. Um, what's next? Do we are we finished? No, uh, because we need to adjust bounces and high score. This is very easy to do, very quick. Basically, every time we hit the ball, we want to. bounces, which I believe is a one-liner, we'll see, um, bounces, which is the text field, dynamic text field, dot text, that's the actual text in the text field, uh, is going to be equal to bounces dot text plus one. We can't just do that because text is a string. What we need to do is convert it to a number. Um, this is type casting is what this is called. We convert that to a number type and then add one. So the string zero will become a number zero and then you add one. But now we can't apply that to this because it's a number. So we have to change it back to a string after we've added one. So every time we click it, now we have it incrementing. But as you remember, when it hits the ground, okay, we gotta do something about the horizontal velocity, I think. But anyway, as you remember, when it hits the ground, it's um, supposed to reset. So let's do that. Uh, if bottom is greater than so and so forth, that's when it hits the ground. So let bounce it bounces dot text equal zero zero same thing um, oh something's wrong with that apparently oh okay they want a string okay it's three okay zero one two three zero and we want the high score to update every time we get a high score so we'll update it here as well when it hits the ground if <clears throat> bounces the text actually if the number corresponding to this uh, string is greater than the number corresponding to high score dot text then we want high score dot text to equal bounces dot text and we want to put this before we reset bounces, obviously.
it's one, high score is one, one, two, high score is two, and this is our completed game. Uh, once again, it's kind of moving horizontally a little fast, so um, you could probably get rid of the times two. All these number uh, tweaking, you could, I'm sure you can do it on your own, uh, just trial and error. Uh, the ball is being drawn on top of the text, on top of our scoreboard text. If I could do this. Yeah, as you saw. So that also we could adjust by select the ball, go to um, one of these. Uh, view. Uh, I know a better way. Right click on the ball and then arrange, bring to front. Oh, wait, no. We want it to bring it to back. Arrange, send to back. And now, when it bounces, it's not going to cover it anymore. So here is our completed game. Uh, <laughs> except for when it hits the top. Okay, let me just change that. When it hits the top, we want the ball to equal height if top is less than zero. Maybe I calculate top wrong. Ball y minus right. Okay, now here is our complete game. Um, I Normally I cover, I go do a little recap of everything I covered in the tutorial at the very end, but I belabored each point so much I Probably not necessary. I don't even know why I'm still talking. Okay, that's the end. Goodbye. <laughs>